welcome to Health Origins. Tonight I'll give you a little lesson on sprouting. So um, come over here, I'll show you my little sprouting um, station if you like. So I've got a few things happening here. Um, here you've got alfalfa seed sprouts um, that are already, you know, good to go. I've been using these for salads already. So these probably a kind of, I would say five to a week old. And these are just um, new um, alfalfa seeds that I put in this morning to soak. So, um, so basically all I've done was just put some seeds in the jar. I'm using, I haven't got any special um, sprouting uh, boxes. I know there's some special sprouting boxes but I'm just using normal um, one liter jars, you know, with, with the lids. Um, and also you're gonna need, if you're using this method, you're also gonna need a bit of muslin cloth um, just to cover the top and uh, elastic band to put on top. So this way it kind of, you can pour water in there and drain it. Um, and also it kind of protects from like insects and things, you know, getting in and lets the um, the seeds breathe. Okay, so that's so that's how I do sprouting. Um, I like alfalfa seeds because they're, you know, like um, really nice in salads. They're very kind of soft sprout. So, um, but also I've just done my first actually batch no, no, second batch, second batch of my lentil sprouts. So these are probably about three and a half days old. Um, so basically, what, what you do at first, like I say, you just put some seeds in the jar, you put the water in and soak it for uh, overnight or eight hours. So today these I've done for eight hours. I put them in the morning and today, now, you know, in the evening, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put that muslin on um, with the little uh, uh, elastic band and then I'm gonna um, drain and wash that because obviously once you soak it you want to wash the water away okay so I'm gonna just drain it out first and then I'll just, you can pour straight through the muslin cloth. So you can just pour enough water in, rinse it out, and pour the water out. Okay, so once you rinse the seeds after you soak them um, for eight hours at least, what I do is I kind of lie them vertically a bit so it um, has more kind of space to germinate and you know and then obviously always have the um, the muslin cloth so it can breathe never put the lid on yet you know so and then I just rest it on the counter and let it um, kind of germinate um, and you wash this twice a day I wash this in the morning and I wash this in the evening so twice a day um, and after, like I say, after about, I think, three to four days, it takes, actually, alfalfa seeds quite quick, so about three days, I would say, um, once they already kind of, you know, germinated and, you know, looking like sprouts, then you just put a metal lid and then store it in, your, in the fridge, okay? So the same with these, I'm going to wash these now um, and, you know, keep them for a little bit longer in fact I could even use them if I wanted to um, the you could also cook these as well as as normal lentils um, the benefits of this is that sprouting actually makes them a bit more easy digestible and even improves nutrition like makes some of the bio like it makes them more bioavailable you know some some um, vitamins and minerals they makes them more bioavailable to the body so if you can't eat them raw like this in salads but they are a bit crunchy so they're not as pleasant tasting I would say um, 
Right, and um, the other thing I'm sprouting at the minute is the chickpeas. Okay, so some of them are, have already started sprouting as you can see. Um, so these is, are three and a half days again. So um, I just soak them overnight, then rinse them in the morning, and then every morning and every night, what I do is I just, you know, sieve them and um, give them a little wash. So just pour them in a colander, run, run some fresh water over them, just rinse them. You can rinse the bowl as well. And then get most of the water off. And then pour it back in. Oops. <laughs> so, and then for them, I, like I say, I don't put them in the jar because it's just too many of them. So I just put them in, in the glass bowl and I put like a little um, towel uh, over so you know there's no critters going in and it can breathe. So, so yeah, so that's what I'm sprouting in the minute. Hello, I'm back. Um, as you can see, it's a different day. We had some issues with uh, my camera, but now we're sorted. I'm going to tell you about another um, thing that you could um, sprouts so it's beans i've never actually done beans before i've got half a cup of um beans left over from something it's you know just dry so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna show you exactly you know how i sprout anything so you just pour pour the beans into a glass jar and just fill it um half fill it with water i fill it with filtered water And then, and then you just leave it to stand um, overnight. So I'll, I'll leave it to stand and um, tomorrow morning I'll rinse them um, and I'm gonna put the muslin cloth, like I was saying, I'm gonna put the muslin cloth with the rubber band and then I'm gonna just lie it on the on the side like this one this is actually the one in between the one i've done for you actually a couple of days ago when i was showing in that other video so that's how it's looking at the minute okay so so yeah so that's that's about sprouting it's um it's really healthy it's really good and it's really easy as you can see you know you don't need any special equipment so thanks for watching and um, if you like it uh, thumbs up, share it, share it with your friends that don't know how to sprout and um, till the next time.